Why be like say oppression no the tire Nigerians? Why be like say to oppress other people no the tire Nigerians? Eh? Any opportunity me anybody will get. Any small opportunity me will get to get power over any other person. The first thing in that person's mind as Nigeria is to start oppressing others. Papa. So I just heard that very dark man will be declared wanted by the Nigeria police very, very soon. He was the one that even uh, addressed the whole issue. And uh, of course, I'm going to play the video and uh, I'm going to address that as well. But firstly, let's discuss all that stuff. Hmm? Let's discuss uh, this Bonner Boy matter. So there's a trendy video yesterday that uh, Steph London received a roast rice as a birthday gift from Bonner Boy. The Rolls Royce as a birthday gift from Bonaboy. And we already thought that Bonaboy and Steph London are no longer an item. So how come Steph London can't receive Rolls Royce from Bonaboy? You know, <laughs> I don't know who who came up with that uh, with that news. I don't know who made such allegations. I don't know how, but Bonaboy wasn't close to Steph London. Bonaboy wasn't at that venue where Steph London was receiving that Rolls Royce. There was no news that kind of like uh, that kind of like point to to anything that has to do with Bonaboy and Steph London coming back together. Maybe they already decided to be like, you know what, uh, our business, we have played our business out there, and it's about time. If we are coming back together, we become secretive and, uh, you know, just do this within ourselves. Maybe they kind of like made that decision for themselves. Hmm? I don't know, man. But whoever came up with that news, eh, I don't know how you came about it, because Bonoboy himself is currently on tour in the United States of America on tour currently and Steph London is in UK she received this Bentley this uh Rolls Royce in UK so how come how does the two even relate to Bonaboy buying a uh, Rolls Royce for Steph London I don't know why it did come I don't know how but the whole social media is buzzing about Bonaboy buying a Rolls Royce for Steph London Bonaboy buying a Rolls Royce for Steph London but how come Bonaboy never uh, announced it. Nobody close to Bonaboy announced it. Steph London never announced it. Nobody close to Steph London announced it. So who came about? Who brought about this news? Who brought about these allegations? Who just decided to wake up and be like, oh, Bonaboy bought this? Who, who was the person that, that brought about this? Because I want to see the person so that we ask, how did you know that Bonaboy bought that Rolls Royce for Steph London? A very mighty Rolls Royce, so even bigger than the one Bonaboy bought for himself. So it's confusing, even bigger than the one Bonaboy bought for himself. Buying a girl Rolls Royce, oh boy, for, for, for age 30. Ah, something is wrong somewhere, guys. Bonaboy, you are a Nigerian man. You understand? You are a Nigerian man. Nigeria know they spend that kind of money on women. Not lie. Nigeria they spend way more than that kind of money on women. But come on, man. Uh uh. We should know how to calculate very, 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 very well now. So, my whole conclusion concerning Bonaboy and Steph London is that I do not think Bonaboy and Steph London are back together. And I do not think Bonaboy has anything to do with that whole source. I'm not sure. If Bono Boy have anything to do with that Rolls Royce, it might be another secret lover from uh, Steph London or whatsoever, but I do not think it's this Bono Boy. It's someone who just brought out this news and everybody just picked the news. You know, when it comes to social media and bloggers, eh, it's about what is trending. As long as it's trending, they don't care if it's true or not, everybody will just pick it. Anybody can just make up an allegations now, 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 social media. Everybody will just carry it and be like, boom, 
the allegation will just be all over the place and meanwhile such allegations are a bunch of lies i do not know but i'm not sure if we have anything to do with that rose west and i'm i do not know but i'm not sure because there's nothing that point to at least there must be something that someone may have seen or a photo or something that may have been showed on the internet showing the plunder and bonner boy hang it together or something 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 that may have proved it but nothing so me i'm gonna give it i will not give it a complete no i'm gonna say out of 100 percent and i am 90 percent convinced that bottom boy doesn't have anything to do with that rose horse why 10 percent maybe bottom boy was the one that bought out rose horse no so let's forget about that let listen to very dark man very dark man just recently revealed that very soon the nigeria police will declare him wanted over an issue that he doesn't know anything about and the person who is suing him or who is trying to investigate him they do not know he doesn't know the person's name but this is what he has to say so it is pretty obvious that they want to use me as a scapegoat finally by somebody who get money like say the one they don't finally plan me now um i received a call yesterday by a friend he said um that somebody in the police force called him that they sent me invites and i have refused to come to the police station and then that if i don't come they are going to declare me wanted and uh, i should call one other police sent him the policeman's number that one i called him i said hello what's going on he said um, that he received a complaint that I've been declared that they told me to come and I've refused. Now, he said they sent three. He sent three invitations and I've not acknowledged anyone. Now, I told him that I received one, but the reason why I did not acknowledge it is this. The date it was issued was on the 28th of November. That I should be available in the position or in the police station on the 4th of november and the message the message came to me on the 30th of november the first reason why i did not acknowledge it is this while something was issued on the 28th you took two days to send it send it to me secondly are you sending me something that you, you they issued something on the 28th of november and you are telling me to come on the 4th of november and i received something on the 30th of november my god can i take back the hand of time do you understand? Let me tell you what these people are trying to do. They are trying to make it look as if there are three dates there, three dates. And then they, according to them, that they sent it three times, which is only this one I've received. Now, God don't catch them. They go for faults and they issue them on the 28th. It means say maybe they don't really, they don't get one where they don't send. They've obviously sent one before faults of November. And then they now sent this one, this particular one, and maybe they issue them on the faults. And then the whole thing is just anyhow. And then why did you take two days after the thing was issued to be sent? Do you understand? It's pretty obvious that you people want to set me up, but God don't catch you now. You understand? Now, to the person that is behind all this whole thing, I don't already know, say the one is my scapegoat, don't worry. I just want to let you know something here. If it's one of those things where, okay, they carry it very dark, man. You know, you will now do publicity stunts. Maybe they say, ah, they don't catch very dark man now. You know, carry me go. Very dark man, apologize for saying this one. I'm not going to apologize to anybody on social media. All the things I've said, I meant them 100%. Do you understand? I would rather spend three, ten years inside jail than to apologize for anybody over this flimsy thing one and two years. I say, say I do, and nobody, I don't even put name, I don't call me, tell me the person where we say complain, when I just carry empty paper, carry and come give me, you understand, and I know you people's plan, this one I don't know, you say, when I want to use DSS, may DSS come arrest me, when I want to carry DSS, may DSS carry me, when I want to declare me one thing, I know the pattern, you understand, if I come Abuja now, I know they Abuja, if I come Abuja, when I will arrest me, when I arrest me, now say, George, no, George, uh, courts don't go break, uh, festive break, then I will have to spend time for his side, sell for 25th i don't do december and new year and i won't ruin now <laughs> i did calculate man, don't worry see i did lagos i don't have time now i'll come on the 20th of january that time after arrest and then whoever is there whoever is paying you people to do this thing um i'm not gonna apologize for the record your money go waste you understand i would rather sleep for sale i would rather be jailed i make apologize for anybody on social media about what i said don't play don't play 
Don't play, for real. Don't play. Else, you're going to learn. And you're going to learn the hard way. See you on the 20th. You know, I, I want to ask Nigerians, why is it that whenever nature, God gives us opportunity to be above other people, the next thing in our the next thing on our mind is to start oppressing other people. So can someone honestly make have his own opinion on things again? Can someone honestly uh, have a say again? Is there no freedom of speech? And after all, things have been seen about a very dark man. It doesn't warrant any police to declare him wanted. Is it about the bleach cream that is strongly stood against? Is it about uh, 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 the Mubat case? Or is it about uh, the uh, Naram Mali case? Although this guy may have gone too far, this guy may have gone too far, but if the police want to arrest him or invite him, I think they should do it properly. Stop playing politics with, stop, stop damaging the reputation of our Nigerian police. Do it properly. Let someone know the reason why the person is being uh, invited to the police. Do it properly. According to what Barry Darkman said, he said the, 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 the letter was not well backdated. The letter was not well backdated. And if a letter is not well backdated, it can automatically mean that letter is a fake letter. It might not be from a Nigeria police. Because the Nigeria police force are well educated and know how to properly address a letter. It might not be from there. It might be someone in the cafe who just decided to print a letter headed paper in Nigeria, uh, 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 Nigeria police uh, numbers and everything and just decide to send it to very dark man. Make we know they oppress other people again with our little opportunities. It is within our house. That is just who we are. Huh? And please, we need to change. But I wish very dark man well. And uh, I'm strongly behind him. I'm going to support him for whatsoever because every case that dark, very dark man has been handling so far, I don't see anything warranted. He's not a terrorist. It is not a Yahoo Yahoo boy. He has not shot anybody. It's not a kidnapper. It's not a ham robber. Why is it that there are so many kidnappers and ham robbers that police would have declared wanted that they have not declared them wanted? They declared very dark man wanted as if that it be the issue, the major issue of Nigeria problem. Abba now. Free that very dark man guy. Let him go. He has nothing to answer for. Nothing. <laughs>